Welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. Today, I have two major plans for us to tackle with the end result of becoming ridiculously rich. If you wanted to know how to make money in this game, this video is going to show you what you need. Anyways, every video, I like to add someone to the island wall. Last episode's winner was Michael Knight one There's the comment on screen right now. And if you want your own chance to win a place on this wall, just make sure you like the video, subscribe, and let me know it down in the comments, and I'll pick one of you for the next video. Just make sure to subscribe because I will check. Anyways, it's time to become rich. The first step we need is to grind out a special item called the Gemstone Gauntlet. This item is fairly easy to get, you know, only requiring 4 million rubies. Yeah, this will be one of my longest grinds ever. But the perks with the gauntlet is the ability to put every single gemstone into it free of charge, which means more pristine and more mining fortune. This is probably the most important item to becoming disgustingly rich, but it comes at a price. There's a mining fiesta one day from now, and I really, really want to have this gauntlet before that so we can get our next projects done faster. And after a brutal 10 hour session, taking up my entire Friday, this happened. I think that's enough. I think that's finally enough. Please tell me there's 512,000. Yes, it's over. Okay, okay. I have been mining for about 10 hours today, and I have collected the eight flawless ruby gemstones in pretty much one sitting. This is the most stupid grind I've ever had to do in this game, but you know what? It's all gonna be worth it. I have waited so long to make this item. I am actually so excited. I just want to get it done now. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of these gold blocks, unfortunately, but hey, we're gonna get more. Anyways, let's grab our eight flawless ruby gemstones, put the gold blocks in the middle and surround it, and there we go. The gemstone gauntlet obtained. Oh, look at that 1600 mining speed. You can put every single kind of gemstone on this, I believe, or at least most of them. That is a lot of stuff. That is a ridiculous amount of stuff. And we don't need the darn drills anymore. No more drills. I am thrilled that we don't have to use the darn drills anymore. These things were so annoying. But uh, this is going to take a long time to enchant. But uh, first, let's go, let's go toss, uh, let's go toss some gems on this. So I know I have a, uh, I have some fine topaz chilling in my- I guess I probably have some in here as well if I can maybe just uh- oh I don't actually have a fine topaz uh we're gonna go fine we're gonna go boom we're gonna go boom I don't know what else what else can I put on this thing um I think the only other one I need is topaz so we'll just grab uh one fine topaz here I'll need to grab another one of those later when we make the pristine book but uh I'm pretty sure yeah we can just go uh boom boom and boom and there we go so now we have plus 20 speed plus 36 fortune no I said that wrong plus 20 fortune plus 36 speed and 1.2 pristine there it is. The Iron Man Gemstone Gauntlet has been obtained. Look at this glorious, glorious piece of art right here. And check it out. We have 2300 mining speed. And keep in mind, this is literally with a max fortune build. I don't have any upgrades that give mining speed. Like level 8. Level 8 and level 0. I, I actually, I want to see how fast this mines gold blocks. I don't actually even have efficiency on this thing. Wait, wait, wait. This thing needs efficiency too. Let me just go grab that. I'll put fortune and stuff on it later. But I just want to see how fast this breaks. That is pretty fast. It doesn't have telekinesis. Wait, I'm going to go absolutely crazy if I don't put telekinesis on this thing. There we go. All right, now we can get a good grasp of fa how fast this thing mines. And I guess let's use the, uh, the speed boost here. Yeah, look at that. This thing is absolutely shredding the gold blocks, and that is with a max fortune build. So um, I guess that means it's time to start working on that legendary griffin now, isn't it? With the gemstone gauntlet in hand, we are finally able to make a lot more of the ores in the crystal hollows. But there is one thing this gauntlet is missing, and that will make us earn triple the coins we are right now. And that is a unique enchantment called Pristine. For every level of Pristine we can get on this gauntlet, we get one entire extra Pristine. So if we make a max book, that is five extra pristine. And if we upgrade our armor and gauntlet with a flawless topaz gem instead of a fine one, we can go from four pristine to 13. That's a ridiculous upgrade. And luckily, we finished this gauntlet right before the mining fiesta. So we can set our eyes on getting this pristine book. But it's no easy task. Requiring basically four million more topaz, we pretty much have to do another gauntlet grind worth of topaz to max this out. But hey, every time we get an upgrade, this grind becomes a little less painful. All right, we've got the Yogg armor, we've got the gauntlet, we've got the armadillo and the fantastic name. And now it's time for the mining fiesta. 
I'm gonna try and get pristine four during this fiesta, but it's gonna be five hours straight of breaking stone and yellow glass. So, um, I'm probably not gonna show off too much of it, maybe just getting the pristine books and upgrading them. But, uh, it's just gonna be a whole lot of staring at a wall for five hours. So, uh, I guess I'll show you the highlights. Okay, I grabbed the one more fine topaz, and I don't actually know how this works, but I know I'm supposed to use 80 topaz and, like, make a book or something. I, I don't know how this works. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna do that. Oh, oh, it's because I, I have enough topaz to make two, actually. I didn't even notice, so I can do this. And we can actually put a uh, pristine two on this thing. I'm literally right next to the anvil. Why did I do that? Uh, I'm gonna need 23 levels, so uh, I guess let's go slap some crypt ghouls real quick here. Get those 23 levels and get pristine two on our gauntlet. Oh, I literally killed three things and I have- okay, I, I didn't expect it to go that quickly. Let's not put pristine on the fishing rod. Uh, there we go. So this will put pristine one on the raw or on the gauntlet and then this will make it pristine two. And our goal is to of course get to pristine five eventually. I think pristine four is actually what I want and then you're supposed to upgrade your armor to uh to flawless. And I have full Diagon. I'm not wearing the Devance helmet because I actually need to go mine in the uh, in the magma fields and I don't want to burn to death. But if we check it out, now if I go to the Crystal Hollows, we have a total of 8 pristine, which is just a bit over double of what we usually had. And uh, in the magma fields, if I were to use the ball pet, um, then it's going to actually be even more than that. And I'll show you uh, how much that is here in a second. Just gotta actually make my way. Of course I spawn up this. Why would I not spawn up this on the one block when I'm recording? But uh, let's let's go down here. How far do we have to go? Oh, we have to go a good like 30 blocks. All right, that's fine. We're gonna go. This gauntlet is just too fast. It insta breaks all this stuff, except I'm falling, so it's not going to. Bro, I don't even have Great Explorer. How am I finding chests? This is dumb. All right, come on. We're almost down at the magma fields. There we go. So now if I equip the uh, the ball pet here, uh, it's not level 100, but now we have a total of 8.996 pristine, basically nine pristine, and uh, that means we're going to have a much much higher chance at getting the wonderful uh, pristine proc. I'm gonna go ahead and ride the armadillo here, and then you'll see just how much I'm gonna actually get this thing. I already procced three, four times. I'm getting 20 flaw flawed topaz at some times. That's crazy. We don't need ruby gems anymore. What am I grabbing ruby gems for? You know, sitting here on my armadillo. Let me actually make sure he starts moving, and uh, I'm just gonna do this for five hours straight, honestly, because what else am I supposed to do? Hello, worm. And it's a normal worm. All right, we can't get the scala pet from uh, that. That's all right. Uh, I guess it's topaz grinding time. All right, I can grab two more pristine books here. Boom, there we go. And then aim the least together. Pristine two. And then grab our lovely gauntlet. And there we go, pristine three. It's only been a few minutes of the event. This is going really, really fast. So um, now we have a whopping 4.2 pristine on our gauntlet here. So there's that. And uh, now we need to get two entire flawless gemstones in order to get pristine four, which is gonna take a while, but I'm pretty sure I can get it during this event. It's only been an hour and I've gotten about four of these flawless books here, so if I go and we just start crafting them, I, I looked up the recipe so I didn't have to worry about the stupid bug happening, but one, two, three, yeah, I need four, okay, <laughs> I was getting confused for a second, like, wait, do I actually need four? Yeah, I need four, because we need to make a pristine three book, so there's two, there's two, and there is number three, and we can combine that with the gauntlet like that to make pristine four plus one again bringing our total pristine count to 10. That is crazy. Imagine, we had four, like, yesterday morning. That's pretty good. Before we get pristine five, if we actually upgrade our armor and gauntlet before with a flawless topaz, it will actually be slightly more effective, giving us 0.3 pristine per perfect topaz, compared to 0.25 if we went for the max gauntlet first. So, after a few hours of mining, we got this. Alright, actually, this is gonna be a little bit of a different upgrade. We're going to make five flawless topaz gemstones and actually take off all our armor here and unlock the gauntlet. And we're gonna switch out the fine uh, topaz gems on this and the gauntlet and actually replace them with flawless because that's gonna give us a better a better ratio of pristine gem to uh, instead of getting pristine five. So we'll do that first. We're just gonna kind of put all this on. Let me just make sure I'm not messing this up or anything. So there's the third one. Then these are the fourth one for the boots, boom. And then the last one is going to be for the gauntlet. So we take off that one. 
hospital the flawless and there we go now we can slap these back on boom 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 and our pristine is going from 10 to it should be 12 yes look at that so of course there's one final upgrade we gotta do to get the last pristine and this is gonna be the longest grind for the least effort but you know what we gotta max out this gauntlet we gotta get pristine five on it it's gonna take four more flawless topaz uh, I get I, more like 100, or 320 fine topaz, but it, it's the same cost as Fort Flawless, so uh, let's get to it before this event ends. The time has come for the final topaz upgrade, uh, so I gotta sit here and sift through 170,000 topaz and uh, make all of these into um, into fine gems, and then we'll be able to craft the 8 flawless, or the 8 pristine books, and uh, max out this drill. It's, it's not a drill, is it? It's a pickaxe. Or it's a, it's a gauntlet, isn't it? Okay, so here we go. We have all of the fine topaz. Now what we can do is... Uh, oh, it looks like we can just grab the pristine books. So I need to grab a total of eight of these. So five, six... Oh, heck, wait. I'm out of paper. There we go. Seven and eight. And now we go to the anvil. We start combining these. And I better not mess this up. Because that would be really awkward to do. So we'll do this. We'll go pristine three. Pristine three. Pristine four. Grab our gauntlet. And the final upgrade... To max this thing out, pristine five. Gemstone gauntlet acquired. Check that out. There's the final pristine. And we can't really get any more pristine than this, believe it or not. The only other upgrade would be putting, you know, perfect gemstones on this instead of flawless. But that's a lot of flawless gems. And I don't really want to do that. So, um, we're going with, I have to actually hold the gauntlet for this. 13 pristine which is absolutely ridiculous and uh that's that that's it for pristine no more topaz we can finally do something else for once and indeed, it was time for one final upgrade to our armor because the mining fiesta was still active, I thought it would be the perfect time to grind to jade as fast as I could to get 5 flawless jade gemstones to upgrade our armor and gauntlet to get even more mining fortune. And after this is done, our elite money making setup will be complete, so only an hour later, we got this. I figured we had time to do one more thing during that mining festival, so I got a little, you know, five flawless jade gemstones. I think it's time to upgrade our stuff just one more time during these wonderful five hours. Uh, can't do that, but I can do this. So we'll take out the fine gemstone, put in the flawless, take out the fine- Oh, that- nope, 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 that's not what I want to do. Oh, I didn't mean to put that back on. Take out the fine one, put in the flawless, you know the drill, boom. Boom. And the last one. There we go. And did, did I put it in? Did I put it in the gauntlet? Okay, I did. Yeah. So there we go. And I can't put it on the helmet yet because I need another chamber for that. So we can't actually do that yet. But uh, we can do that. Boom. There we go. And I'll just hold on to this one flawless one for now. So we'll do that. And now let's check out our current stats. We now have 823 fortune. So all of our uh, jade gemstones now give us 20 fortune, which is really, really awesome. So uh, and I think now we kind of just need to start working on some armor upgrades because because, well, uh, we only have one piece of advance, and this thing only has one gemstone chamber in it, and they should have at least three, so, uh, let's get to work! With our 13 pristine and extra mining fortune, I am currently making about 7 million coins an hour, you know, just running around the crystal hollows, in the tunnels, just breaking all these crystals with my armadillo, which is absolutely nowhere near as efficient as making your own roots and stuff, but this is something basically anyone can do, just kind of running around the tunnels, using your armadillo and all the stuff you see, and you're making about 7 million coins an hour, which is absolutely ridiculous for this mid-game mining setup that I have right now. So in the future, I will go for the rest of the divan set and upgrade the chambers to have the fortune stats. But for now, I think that's all we have time for. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Iron Man and our daily upload streak continues. So if you want to see more, hit that like button. And again, if you want your name on this wall, subscribe and let me know down in the comments. And I wish you all a wonderful day. Take care.